Thank you so much, Mr. Kandash. Next, I'd like to introduce our special guest, Ambassador Shigeki Hiroki, whose wife is actually a Barnard graduate. Ambassador Hiroki arrived in the U.S. two weeks before the 3-11 disaster, and since then has been a prominent figure in Japan relief efforts in New York. Now, without further ado, let us all welcome Ambassador Hiroki. I understand that uh, you're going to overtime. My speech will be over over that. Uh, congratulations uh, <coughs> for the successful uh, seminar or workshop tonight. This this afternoon, members and organizers of the Consortium for Japan Relief, U.S. Japan Foundation, and the U.S. Japan Council. Japan Society, JAMSnet, and JMSA, JAA, and the many, many gathered here who make a difference. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the Japanese Consulate, I am pleased to join you here today. I thank you very much for the energy and enthusiasm you have all been putting into creativity, creatively helping those in Japan honestly recovering from 3.11. This is a very important dialogue to be part of as we come upon the second year anniversary of a national tragedy of such magnitude. Nearly 20,000 lives were lost, over 300,000 people have been displaced on the level. But in the past two years, the majority of schools and the hospitals in the affected areas have reopened, infrastructures have been rebuilt, and plans to rebuild communities are underway on safer, higher ground. We are focusing on greener, more sustainable improvements to what has been very precious before. I believe that many of you here have already contributed so much to recovery efforts in Japan through the expenditure of time, energy, or by encouraging those in need. For this, I thank you, and I thank you in advance for all that you will be contributing in thought and purpose today. Thank you very much. <laughs> 